We're basing our strategy on our two superstars, Argentine attacker De Paul and the Hungarian international Salai. They're our most creative players and are equally adept at both shooting or supplying chances. Salai is also quite a competitive athlete. To get the most out of the two, we're going with a fairly unconventional looking formation. We want to give them the option to operate in and around the penalty area, so we end up with a kind of trident attack line where they tuck in as a pair just behind the solo striker. The striker, Sergio Diaz, hasn't been in the best form this season, so we'll be hoping with the 2AMs feeding him he could find the back of the net more regularly. The rest of the formation is more about structure. The two central mids play the shuttler role, hassling in midfield and playing possession football to let the fullbacks get wide and get forward. The defensive midfielder will sit behind those two full time and play an anchor role, so hopefully we don't get hit unawares on the break. Initially, we're going to set up in a counter-attacking style. That's mostly until we find a bit more confidence in ourselves after a tough season so far. But I hope we can end up with a nice, fluid, high-intensity offense where we've got players running at the angles and we create options off the ball. Our first opponents were Fiorentina. It was 9th for 17th, so expectations were fairly low. Naturally, every point counts, so results are vital, but other than that, it was an important learning exercise. Would our new formation work? Are our key men capable of the impact we need? Which other players are going to put their hands up to fight for their spot in the team? And honestly, we started quite well. We moved the ball around nicely, we got the wide players off the field, and despite having a four-man crowd in the centre, we mostly managed to stay out of each other's way, and that helped us keep possession. Unfortunately, our weakness was exposed in the 31st minute, as we did get hit on the break. Fiorentina mirrored our three-pronged attack, and unfortunately we weren't able to get enough bodies back to snuff out the play, and that was us down 1-0. A few minutes later it was getting worrying as they scored their second goal of a corner, but we were able to combat that with a set-piece goal of our own just after half-time. That left it all to play for, and we showed some really encouraging signs on the counter-attack as the players got tired and we brought on some fresh legs. Eventually we got the second breakthrough and the game turned into a shot-for-shot -shot battle to the end. Neither side could find a third goal though, and we ended up with a draw. It's a shame that we couldn't win the game given the position we put ourselves in, but it's also quite a good result considering the season we've had so far and the confidence within the players.